Oh, this is like the white side, um, recording my presentation for Third Cinema, taught by Professor Dirk Ashton. This is over the film La Operation by Ana Maria Garcia. This La Operation is a documentary. It is about 40 to 50 minutes in length. It was directed by Ana Maria Garcia. She is a Cuban Puerto Rican filmmaker. This, uh, this was her first film to direct and produce. And it focuses on the forced sterilization that the U.S. government placed on the women in Puerto Rico during the 1950s and 60s. Um, when we discuss this film, one of the avenues that we can talk about is whether or not it fits within the idea of third cinema. And in the first week of this course, the definition that was agreed upon that we um, were given by Dr. Ashton is that cinema, third cinema, is cinema from beyond the first world and the West. So using that definition, does this film fit within, sorry, fit within the working definition that we have. Well, it is from Puerto Rico and it covers an issue that is about or for women, um, a minority group in the country of origin. It also highlights the wrongdoings of an oppressive American government towards a people, towards the people of Puerto Rico. The idea of this sterilization was population control, and that is an issue that we will talk about shortly. But, you know, I think that La Operation does qualify as third cinema because it is a film, although Puerto Rico is now a part of America, of the United States, it is still a separated part of the United States. It also, you know, goes on the idea of the higher ups oppressing the underdogs and in a way calls for a liberation and a correction of that oppression. During this film, Garcia interviews women who have had this procedure done and the struggles that they face since then, as well as interviews. She also interviews doctors who were in hospitals who were, who were performing this procedure at the time and governmental officials who were stationed in Puerto Rico to create and carry out the plans for population control, i.e. sterilization of women. Now, what are, what's the cultural influence? Does this film still have cultural identity? Well, in so many words, Garcia looks at the forced sterilization of a group of people. Is it ethical to do that sort of practice? And as well as the issue of informed consent many of the stories of these women are about the fact that they were told one thing like this procedure being reversible and then finding out that it wasn't that many of the women who tried to have children afterwards or who became pregnant after having this procedure had miscarriages and some lost their lives due to complications from those pregnancies some were near death because of complications from the miscarriages that they were having. Uh, it's also, it's a film that is referenced a few times in the books of uh, film and history, as well as the dark history of forced sterilization of Latino women. Um, Also mentioned in 
rethinking third cinema and rethinking third cinema it is said that this is a film that uh, reveals the historical and theoretical apparatus of such concepts as the female body when not addressed in terms of race class and neoclassicalism whereas the white female body might undergo surveillance by the reproductive machine the dark female body is subjected to a disreproductive apparatus within a hidden racially coded demographic agenda. And we can see that influence with the idea of population control and like this being the idea, the way that the US government pose population control on the Puerto Rican community. Um, there's also, it's the mentioned in the film, it's not just the procedure that is done of having your tubes tied, but also the experimentation of birth control and how the Puerto Rican women were guinea pigs, essentially, for the medication that is given as birth control. Um, and not being informed on that fact. They thought that it had been tested on and been found to be safe for human consumption, when in reality they were the ones testing to see if it was safe for human con consumption. Now, why did I choose this film? Um, I find a strong connection to it. One, I am a mother of three, and I, if I had been a Puerto Rican woman at this time, would not have had my third child. So or maybe even my second child, depending on who would have pressured me into it. Um, so I have a strong connection to the issues of female and women's fertility. I think it also is relevant for issues that are raised um, in the film. In that it talk, we have to ask questions about medical consent, informed consent, and uh, government malpractice and mishandling of the medical field. Like, should we allow the, the government to have full control over the way that doctors are allowed to operate and how they are allowed to give us information on procedures and medications that we are given? And finally, I have a personal connection to Puerto Rico. I have friends who are from Puerto Rico and the idea like to think that they being if we were in this time not being able to have children or to have a limited amount of children and it is a heartbreaking idea for me to grapple with that is my presentation here is my work cited page thank you for listening